Here's a part 2 of the air balloon tutorial which will show you how to easily and quickly texture the balloon using a color palette. Please subscribe and leave a like if you find my tutorials helpful. I've downloaded a color palette from Lospec and I'll put the link in the description. What I got though was a long strip of 64 colors. I wanted an 8x8 color block texture image so I've done some editing and each color block is 10 pixels, which means my texture size is 80x80 80 80 pixels. Really small in file size, first things first, I'm gonna apply all modifiers by converting the basket to mesh. Other parts don't have any modifiers so let's take a look at their UVs. Go to UV Editing Workspace and select All. We don't want this lump so we'll have to mark some seams. Two for edge select and select these edge loops that we may want to color different. When done, press U and choose mark seam. Now select all, press U again and choose unwrap this time. Let's take a look at the basket. It looks fine, so let's move on to the cords. They look fine too. You don't have to worry about stretching or anything since we're using color blocks for these UVs. The only important thing is which part you want to color different, so no headaches for perfect UV unwrapping in this tutorial. This part didn't get unwrapped so press you for smart UV project. We're done with UV editing so I'm gonna join all parts into a single object. I'm gonna check auto smooth as well. Let's go back to UV editing workspace. It looks hell messy but don't worry. Go to object mode and add a material. Click on this little dot and choose image texture. Open your color palette. Choose the same image for the UV editor window. This is my color palette. Let's start coloring in edit mode. Press 3 for face select and press L to select linked. I'll select every other piece and hover over the UV editor window, press A to select all, then scale. You can enter amount here as well. I've entered 0.01 .01, but the size doesn't matter as long as it gets small enough to fit well within the color block. You can freely travel between color blocks until you're satisfied. Let's do the same for the remaining four pieces. If you don't like what you see, just move them to a different block. See how easy it is. Let's choose these bottom pieces and color them different. Too dark. Let's try this color. I'm gonna choose the basket now and color it yellow. Now for the cords.
Last piece and we're done. Hope you enjoyed this quick way of coloring an object in Blender. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another tutorial.